So we moved to Prince William County and we came from a diverse place in Fairfax and coming to Prince William County where we were the only Latina family in the neighborhood. And it was okay, but then until my daughter came from school one day crying and I asked her what happened. And she's like, tell, she was telling me that her classmates, some of, there were not that many, but a few classmates that she had who looked like us, their parents were being deported. And she was afraid that I would be deported as well. And she was crying because she said, what I'm going to do, you know, you will be taken away. Grandma will be taken away. And they're probably going to put me in another with other parents because you guys will be gone and I don't have anybody to take care of me. So I said, no, 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 don't worry about it. So when she was in sixth grade, after we were here already for four or five years, I had to explain to her the difference in why this means to be undocumented and documented and why I should, I was not being deported because I had my paperwork. And she understood. She was like, oh, but then, you know, as her mother, I could tell you that after that day, anything that would not go well in school, she will blame it on where she came from on her last name. She would say, oh, well, this teacher so-and-so don't like me because I am Latina. I'm not from here. I'm a foreigner. I would never be from here, mom. And I'm like, why do you say that? You just don't get it? We are not from this country. We are immigrants. They will never look at us equally. They will always speak on people of color in school. So... It took me years to make her feel comfortable again on being her and speak up when she feels that something is unfair. Mm 